right. Now we're trying to draw the Bohr electron configuration for beryllium after it has satisfied the octet rule. And the key part here to notice is that we're talking about after it has satisfied the octet rule. We remember that the octet rule states that any atom will attempt to fill its outer valence shell to satisfy the octet rule. Knowing that, let's take a look at the periodic table and find beryllium. We can identify beryllium as this one right over here with an atomic number of four. Awesome. So let's get it going. Given that beryllium has an atomic number of four, we know one important thing about it. It has four protons, and therefore its neutral atom has four electrons. Excuse me for the poor drawing. Given that we know we have four electrons, let's draw those four right here, it will help us complete our Bohr diagram drawing. We'll have our nucleus, our first electron orbital, which only two electrons will fit in. One, two, we can cross out these two, and move on to the next electron orbital because the first one is filled. And we have two more electrons. We put one there and one there. Now, given that we are trying to fill the outer shell, it would take six electrons to get to eight. Unfortunately, that is a little more difficult than just getting rid of these two electrons. If we were just to get rid of these two electrons, to give them away to another atom, we'd end up with an atom that looks like this. And here, we see that it was easier to give away two electrons and fill our outer valence shell with only two, since that's how it's satisfied. And therefore, we have satisfied the octet rule.